What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Today's an extra exciting lesson because we're going to play our first D major scale. Basis. I need to talk to you for a second. Look at number 23. That high D, you have to shift. Bring your whole hand down on the G string until you hit that high D. Everyone else, compare your open D to your third finger if you're a violin or viola, fourth finger if you're a cello. Make sure your D's in tune. This is what it sounds like. And let's play number 23. One, two, ready, go. Let's play number 23 again, but first take your left hand off the instrument, bring it back, find that high D. 23, one, two, ready, go. Now, number 24, C sharp. If your D is in tune, your C sharp should be in tune. Violins, violas, it should be touching it so close. Cello, third finger. Bass, second finger. 24. This is what a C sharp should sound like. One, two, ready, go. It's time to take your left hand off. Find the C sharp again. One, two, ready, go. Number 25, take off. Find your high D. One, two, Ready, go. Before we play 25 again, try to make as less noise as possible with your bow when you stop at the quarter rests in measure one and two. Down, up, down, freeze your bow. Up, down, up, freeze your bow without any uh, crinkle, any crunch sound, try and make it completely quiet. 25. One, two, ready, go. Number 26, Caribbean Island. High Ds, C sharps, high Ds, and open D. And yes, use your elbow to change strings and hit that open D. Bring your elbow back, hit that high D. 26. One, two, ready, go. Let's do 26 again. Find that first note. And let's go. One, two, ready, go. Number 27, the Olympic high jump. High D, open D. Really use your ear to hear if you are in tune. We call that good intonation. 27. Oh, one, two, ready, go.
Number 27, one more time. Take your left hand off, shake it out, relax your muscles. Bring that hand back onto the instrument and let's play. One, two, 27, go. Song number 28, let's read B. First finger violin, first finger viola, first finger cello, fourth finger bass. 28. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Take your left hand off. Bring it back and let's play 28. One, two, 28, go. <music> 29, halfway down. Find that high D. And let's walk from high D, C sharp, B to A. Listen to every note, make sure it's perfectly in tune. 29. One, two, 29, go. 29. And let's do that again, 29. One, Two, ready, go. Now, right back up, song number 30. One, two, ready, go. Before we play that again, bass players, remember to shift on the rest at the end of measure two. Song 30. One, two, ready, go. Song 31, down the D scale. We're gonna start on the high D and we are going to work our way all the way down to open D. Song 31, set it. And here we go. One, two, ready, go. Song 31, one more time. Relax all your muscles. Remember to use your arm to help with the string crossing when we go from the G to the D or the A to the D string. Song 31, one, two, ready, go. Last song of the day, song number 32, up the D scale. Start on the open D and we're just gonna walk it up one note at a time until we're at the high D. One, two, ready, go.
Song number 32, one more time. But before we play it again, let me just remind you of this quick tip. Make sure your eyeballs are focusing on each individual note. You have to memorize where the note is on the staff. Don't just go on a pattern. Don't just go on your ear. But make sure you are tracking with your eyes every single note. Song 32. One, two, ready, go. Congratulations! You just played your first D major scale. How do you feel? Skills are really important for the development of your ear, the muscle memory in your left hand to find the notes. Every time you take your instrument out, you really should be warming up with scales. Happy practicing this week, and I'll see you next time.